We're out here on this blustery, snowy day. We got a couple inches overnight. And I think I talked a little bit about our snow in the last video, but I just wanted to make this video basically on, you know, things I've learned about our solar and it's not the electrical part. And honestly, what started as a really good idea, I think has kind of transformed into something that is now a little bit more a pain in the butt. <laughs> and I think that honestly is connecting our solar panels to the house, you know, kind of how I have this slanted with the windows out here. And I, I honestly, uh, that's why I, I had done our other panels over there the way that I did. And to raise them up off the ground, honestly, is the big thing. And that's because I didn't, I wanted to stop dealing with the snow that gathers up at the bottom of the panels. And yeah, for anyone that uh, is making their solar setup, at least get it up off the ground a couple feet if you're in a snowy area. Because yeah, that's one thing thinking about after doing this for, you know, six winters now. You know, a lot of the snow gets gathered up here, even when we're brushing off the panels, you know, it's all coming down here and gathering up and getting in the way of a lot of the other panels that are at the at the bottom here. So and on top of just, you know, more the inside deal, because that was really a tricky part to do. If we go inside here, that was something really tricky that I had when building the house and having everything connect. You know and now it's basically these aren't insulated it's almost like having glass and you know that it's more of a moisture issue issue than anything and you can tell it's a little cold outside my my my, my lips and my my talking definitely are stuttering and yeah let's warm up a little bit inside here but yeah i mean that's a big problem you have and even trying to figure out how to you know, because the idea started as just trying to catch more water, honestly, because there are panels and their space. So why not try and maximize catching more water? So it's kind of like more roof space. But, you know, then it runs into the problems of, you know, siliconing the gaps or how do you fill the gaps in and not have leaks. And, you know, because this all overhangs over our battery bank and it's all connected. And, you know, as the beginning stages uh, even of me learning about solar and how to connect everything. So I've definitely learned a whole lot more on connecting solar and the things that we actually need to do to upgrade everything. And so there'll be some major upgrades coming to our solar setup that will hopefully help eliminate some cords and extension cords going around everywhere and maybe reconfigure our panels a whole lot better so that we can actually end up extending our our roof and uh, more likely our whole greenhouse area so we'd be extending it out to those panels extending this glass out so we'll end we'd end up having two garden beds and then we'll end up having more roof space just like with over in the addition you know there's a lot more roof space so but that's kind of an idea I had to be creative about, you know, moving these panels and getting the solar all set up, but then also making the house a whole lot better. So it's just one thing I, I learned, I think, and things I want to get ready for for next year. So wintertime is nice for gathering ideas and kind of contemplating and writing plans out and you know, uh, thinking over everything because ideas might change a million times through the winter, through things I learn and whatnot. So we'll see, but that's the idea I have right now. And it's more a little bit now, figure out the materials I need and the measurements and whatnot. So I'll have to wait actually for spring or maybe a nice day where it's not snowy and blustery out outside. <laughs> So we'll see about that. Otherwise, our panel, like right now, it serves as a storage area. We've got our recycling. We've got wood for burning in the rocket stove. And, you know, it gets a little, it's kind of like the mud room out here now. So that's, I mean, the benefit, the pro with it. And like I said, it started with a good idea, but now has ended with something being a pain in the butt, honestly. And a lot of things could be changed from what I've learned over the years as well, too. So we've got our solar light oh yeah it's really snowy so i'm sure that thing ran out of battery but that's our motion sensor security lights so yeah when we come in it's supposed to come on and 
light it up in here and then we can see the door and all that and it's all solar powered so we don't have to worry about using a light switch or anything like that so got the panel set up out here oh yeah it's got a little snow on it so i'll wipe that snow off hopefully i'll get a little more juice i probably ran the battery out walking in inside and outside here but this is what we got going on with the panels wanted to put some notes on that and just show what we're you know what we're doing in the winter time and kind of how we deal with things with our solar the earthship and everything else on our property during the montana winter out here so everyone like and comment and subscribe definitely make comments ask questions or make suggestions i'd love to hear some things that i might be able to kind of implement on the farm or think about over winter here to implement further on the property so but stay tuned we've got more videos to do more updates to do it might actually clear up and we might have a day where there's all the snow melts and it's a little bit nicer we can do some other outside stuff that i didn't get to finish up so stay tuned for those